This is gonna be a really long video, but da, 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 da. so we just came back from Osaka Joe Hall. We didn't even watch. This isn't even a cafe yet. Oh my god, it's... We're so gross. Okay, I'm not gonna do a video now because I just realized this is a lot of shit, so I'm gonna quit right here. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to our haul from our YOLO trip 2018. Um, we're our first... We have, as you can see, we just have a bunch of Token Rambo stuff here, but before we start with Token Rambo, we're going to start with the other few things that we hit, such as... We went to the Hypnosis My Cafe, so for this we actually traveled all the way to Yokohama and from there we um, found the Sweets Paradise Cafe which was inside a mall. So we're just so there are going to be some questions of how we booked the cafe. Sayuri is going to show you how uh, what, what app she used to book it on her phone. So you download from the Play Store whether you use Apple or Android and it's called Sweets Paradise. It's a simple app. It might take some time to load. But when you first make the you get the app, you make your uh, profile with your age, you know, gender, blah blah blah, basic necessities. You can actually bookmark stores you prefer to use most of the time. So I just have local stores in Kanagawa listed. But the main homepage shows you the current specials. You can do a stamps, collect stamps and you get points through that. They have an online shop as well news they'll tell you what new events are coming up but the most important is the reservation button which is the bottom it has a little calendar and from there you could select when it loads oh i gotta log in Look. <laughs> <laughs> people and then you're done you keep a copy of the email when you get there they ask if you have whether you have reservation or your walk-in if you have reservation you give them your name they give you your paper you can start inputting your order just do make sure you reserve for collaboration and not the av the regular buffet dining oh yeah so because the sweets paradise is actually a cafe <coughs> so you can either be there for the cafe or you can be there for the collaboration so there were a bunch of people that were there just for the Sweets Paradise, like the, you know, they have like a kind of like an all-you-can-eat buffet, essentially, and then uh, like you would order the character food when you, get, when you go in, so when you are there, they will give you the character food, but you can also go to like the buffet and you can pick out whatever you want to eat. So there's that as well. Um, what was the base price? Okay, just do let you know that the base price for entry is 1500 yen which is just for the buffet. If you are going to do collaboration, do know that each item you order is an additional... It depends on what you get. It was all the same price. I believe it was, was it? $6.50 oh, okay. or $7.50? 700 yen straight. Okay. So we, so when we put our stuff... It's kind of like if you guys have ever seen those videos where you go to the ramen, the ramen places and you put in money and you click a button and then like the ticket pops out. It's kind of like that in a sense where you put in money and then you click like which thing on the menu that you want or whatever like the label is and then once you click it um the ticket pops out so and all we probably got about eight or seven tickets because we ordered like multiple, multiple things, things off because we got tickets for the drinks and then we got tickets for the dessert and then we got tickets for the food so in all it was kind of about seven tickets and all plus our money to get inside the cafe so just to let you know that's how it works um, so when we went inside the cafe, every collaboration item you order comes with a blind coaster, and they are blind, you don't get to pick them, 
but you can trade with people who are very very nice in the cafe just oh my gosh talk so. to them tell them who you want and if they don't have it they don't have it but just talk to people make friends be really nice be very nice because there will there are girls in there that love 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 hypnosis mic when i walked down i was trying to trade my because i got two rios so i was trying to trade rio and i saw these girls like taking out their merch and taking photos with the food so if you want to trade with them especially if you know we are foreigners so make sure you are very very nice to them um ask very nicely and if they want to trade they will so um we did trade a few i think we traded ramuda and we traded rio so these are all the stuff that we've gotten. Um, I actually got, I got a Samatoki from or this really, really, really kind girl. She traded a Rio for a Samatoki because she likes Rio. So thank you so much. You're the best. Okay, so moving on. Um, in the cafe, there was a store, and I think this girl she went back like two times. What? <laughs> to the store. <laughs> <laughs> Three three times to the store um we spent <laughs> way too much we weren't planning to spend this much but <laughs> so um you guys know how blind boxes kind of um kind of want your boo so we did a few blind boxes um there was the big pins and the small pins so for the big pins i got rio and i got samatoki I actually got like two reels, but uh, I think I gave it to somebody or I don't, I don't I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I got like another reel. I was dressed. The funny thing is, I was dressed in real cord that day, and I like just kept getting real stuff. And reels not even my favorite, so I was kind of mad. But I felt like it was kind of karma because I was dressed up <laughs> in real camel cord. So you guys are gonna see a lot of reels. And then for the smaller, like, sweets cafe, like, they have cakes with them. I got these three. They're super cute. I won't be selling them. They're adorable. Um, these are adorable. And then I also hauled a few things for my friend. I don't know where my keychains went, but she also bought the same keychain as me. So here I bought the pins. These are for a friend. And then I bought like little post-it notes that none of us will probably ever use. It's so cute. But as, as you can see, Matt Trigger is our favorite group. That's why we went all the way to Yokohama for Matt Trigger. Okay. Ikibuku represent. <laughs> uh, no, Shinjuku represent. Shinjuku. We do have a friend who loves Shinjuku because that is the town of our people. And do you know that when they do have these collaborations, this is the round two version. There is a round, they do sell the round one stuff as well. So just double check you're getting round two if you wanted round two. Um, each, each time they have a different collaboration, it's a different set of uniforms. Oh, you did have the match trigger one. Can we show the match trigger one? Yeah, but you had it. Oh, I don't know where I went. I don't know. I hope you all not stuck again. All right, this is Mad Trigger Crew. They're so cute. As you can see, you can like clip them on each other so you can have a really just really really long keychain of all of them if you wanted to or like all groups did if I you buy wanted that too? to what did i buy that you got i got one i got yokohama yeah what, what did i buy you got mo you got shinjuku okay. you got shinjuku sure <laughs> i was like sure my voice is gone um this one is actually unopened oh, oh. i don't know if you want to open it open yeah. it yeah. so this is just the little acrylic key holder this is not the cafe Nope, no, not the no. cafe. So they were also the selling Bible. stuff. Yeah, they were also selling stuff that you could buy animate. So this is a set that you could buy at girls animate. I don't know who we're or and boys for. animate. Matenro because she loved Matenro. And oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's not... cute. It's oh, Jiro still... and Jiro. Yokohama represent. That was kind of fun. I didn't even know he had this in here. Yeah, I bought one. And then they also have cute pins. They are metal, so they do last pretty long. Just do be careful. I do have um, Ikebukuro. Ikebukuro pins are somewhere, somewhere else. Somewhere else. But I bought yeah. it. She, it's on her bag. She put it on her bag. But um, these pins are... Metal. So they were kind of pricey, but the thing is they were made... They're made very well, so they're metal. 
And then on the back, it's not like a clip-on pin, like these pins here that has like a back. It's an actual like pin where you can stick in a back piece, like an earring. So it stays on very well. It's worth the purchase. It was 15 Yeah, 15 than and they also thing. have acrylic standees. They're tiny, but they do have their Collaboration Cafe outfits, and it took me forever, but I got it. And they stand like this. They're about, you know, they're they're what, so two cute. inches. They're cute. So cute. Perfect for tiny shelves or on top of your computers. I think that's it for Hit Me. All right, so... <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we have a list of the merch that they were selling. Oh. No, we don't. That's not a list. That's just a pamphlet. It's just a pamphlet. Mm -hmm. so anyway, we're going to start on Tokerambu. Um, as, you can see, as you guys can see, we went ham. Um, this is actually not all from the show. These are from resale shops that we hit in both Kyoto, Oh, three times Kyoto, Osaka, and Tokyo. Okay. So make sure that um, if you aren't able to actually get a hold of a few items, you will find stuff at resale shops. Like for example, um, some of these pins here are from the resale shops, even though I think the majority of them we got them at the gacha, at the cafe. But um, when we went to the resale shop, there was already like a whole section just for 2018 ones. So there's this one here. Let me take off Mario so people can see like Hold on, 2008. <laughs> I just let you know we did not plan to buy this much. Each one of us mm. Thick muscle. Thick muscle. <laughs> Thick muscle. <laughs> I'm logging. I'm logging. <laughs> muscle. <laughs> So a lot of people do have questions about cafes. Cafes are mostly a reservation only and it is recommended you have a reservation so you're not walking into something that's completely booked up. Um, we do reserve online. You can go through the musical website that will link you to the E Plus store. Um, only issue is it's really easy to book. But you do have to pay for it in Japan. You can't pay online through a card, PayPal, any of that kind of stuff. So you have to have someone who's readily available to walk to a konbini and pay through the konbini markets. We do 7-Eleven. I'm pretty sure Family Mart does it as yeah, well. And Lawson. Lawson will do yeah. it as well. Um, you might want to book, if you don't have anyone, book really soon, as soon as you land, and go pay for it right away. Or if you have someone who's kind enough to help you out, they can go pay for it for you. You can pay them back later. Um, whichever way works for you, you can probably do a shopping service, I guess, as well, if you want to go the extra route. But do be sure book ahead of time. It does make your traveling a little easier. Yeah. So, like, for example, when we <coughs> booked ours, um, last year we had a friend that was in Japan, and he went to the Kabini and he paid for us. Um, this year, um, Sayuri actually has family in Japan, so we are thankful and grateful that her family actually goes out and picks up our tickets for us or it gets sent to her grandma depending on what where we're going or what we're doing um so yeah just let you guys know like it is very important to make sure like you have friends or somebody that you know i guess to pick it up for you especially if you do want to go because um now like we're moving on now we're moving on cut that out <laughs> <laughs> but um so these are the coasters some of these we bought at the resale shops. So Kogi we actually bought at the resale shops. But these were the ones that we got inside the cafe. We got Toste, which is um, the stage play, not the musical. There is two different things. And you might want to double check dates as well because sometimes they won't use the newest coasters until towards the end of the running. Yeah, so... Uh, so just double check. Their Twitter yeah. will update. So when we went, they only had, they had the coasters from last year or the coasters from the previous cafes that we did not attend. Like for example, um, as you guys can see, this is Shinchan or Muchan. 
Um, he is from the newest Bakuten run, so um, they had like up to him, and then they have the coasters from last year that we actually went for. But uh, just make sure, I know the day after we went, they had the newest coasters. So just make sure you know when you're going, especially if you're getting a specific character in a specific coaster. Um, make sure you are very careful with that. Right, and when you arrive, they have these cute little coasters set up. Um, if you order the bento boxes, which usually comes with your reservation. Comes with your reservation. I believe they have two different ones, but we got red. Oh my god. Um, it is wrapped up cutely in a paper with emblems. You guys can see these are all the emblems from the musical and the, the um, stage, stage play. play. So y y there's a blue one and there's a red one. Um, these only come if you reserve. So if you walk in, you will only be able to order the sweets and the drinks. If you reserve, you will get a bento. And the bento does come with one free drink already. Yeah, and then so you, you can guarantee yeah. one coaster already. If you want to get yeah. another, order another drink. Mm. And so you can order, how many drinks can you order? Like three per person, right? No, I don't think there's a limit. Oh, there's not a limit. No. So you can order as many drinks as you want. But you can only be there for two hours. Yeah, but you can only be there for two hours. So they will tell you when your time limit is done. They will come and they will ask you, do you want to buy a final drink? Um, so make sure you're, if you want as many posters as you want, make sure you order as many drinks as you can. Play the blind box game and then... Trade. trade 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 with people because there will be, be people there that will trade but like i always say please please be courteous to the people around you and ask very nicely whether in english or japanese um just be very mindful of the people okay oh didn't you have a few other coasters you got um i just put them away okay that's fine but we got um tsurumaru from toste and we also got kashukimitsu and his uniform. And his Outfit uniform. Outfit was on display. Yeah, it's great because it's, um, every cafe you go to, they will have an uh, outfit on display. So in Tokyo, they had um, Yagen and... Hakata. Hakata. Sorry, I was going to say Hasebe. his actor's, his and actor's name. And Hasebe. They kind of rotate um, what outfits would be there each year. So last year... When we went, it was Kashu's 2017 outfit from the concert that was still happening during that time, and we couldn't take pictures of. Um, and then there was the Itsukushima Jinja outfits, um, because Gimune Chika and Kukitsune Maru. So if you are going there for a specific character, um, usually there might be one or two cafes running at the same time. So make sure you check which cafe you want to go to. Usually there's the Toste one and there's the musical one. So just double check before you book your reservation. Quite a lot of the cafe, but you guys did. I did. We spent <laughs> so, hella. We walk in, right? And our friend grabs a basket and she grabs it and she goes, Imagine this as like the merchant. She goes, <laughs> Like <her> inside, like <laughs> every single one. <laughs> every single one. And then the, the girls working there were like, <laughs> They're like, Look at her. Here she goes. <laughs> <laughs> so. The 2.5D store will sell brochures, which are kind of hidden by the collection here. They have the bags, the bags. for merch, um, current towels, maybe previous towels, but double check on stock because they will tell you if they are sold out. They will have the current, current new new thingy thingies. You can blow it up. <laughs> you can use them as ornaments. A lot of people has been using them as ornaments on their trees all over Twitter. So if you guys see them, like they're hilarious. It's cute. But she went back. She bought just Imari at the concert, but she went back and bought her booze. We love you, Haruki. <laughs> <laughs> but <clears throat> and so I didn't buy any because I didn't like it very much. But she bought them because she loves them. So all okay. right, they will have previous merch. We've got the little suicide notes, little memo stickies. Um, they will have the little gotchas for the year as well, which they current this year they had these uh, sticky paper note sticker rolls. We will get to these once we go to the concert. We, we have a story some. for them. <laughs> a lot. 
Uh, they have the pens, toothbrushes, mirrors, little, little tiny things. Oh, but my friend went ham. Them, but... She did buy pens. The weave at work. Um, they have previous year's scarves. They didn't have every character though. I don't think they will mention whether they have every character for these. It's just the, these are pretty old. Yeah, they've been it's around just for the a while. newest stuff. They will let you know. Yeah. Um, open this up. Hello, doggy. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. What if he doesn't zoom and run? No. <laughs> what if he doesn't zoom and run? Not He's a good boy. So we took the love of packaging. <laughs> It's actually really decent size. Really decent. You can put it on your purse. You can wrap it's it so cute. around your head. I think some people had it around their wrist. Around their too. wrist? But that's yeah. too big. Could it? Be. But I have seen people actually yeah. remake it into pouches, oh. um, liners for Ita bags. That's um, cute. Other people have made like tiny little makeup pouches. Gave her an idea, her eyes lit up. <laughs> oh. yeah, Scrunchies. You can I'm gonna put it in my head. do a lot of stuff with it. You could be a little, like a little babushka. <laughs> cute. Babushka. Oh. You can probably wrap it around your neck, but that's kind of hard. It's kind of small for me, yeah. too. It's that's cute, really though. cute, though. Sadly, double check. Stock. They've been sold out for a while. These have been out for a yeah. while, so very limited. You can probably find them at resale shops. Or the website has it. Or the website has it, actually. But <laughs> so here we have the Blu-rays. Um, as you can see, we have Kashi Kimitsu, Niho Tose. I keep forgetting the name of this formation. But um, we have the new Bakuten formation with Kariki. And we have the new CD. You can buy all of these at the cafe. Um, it's available for purchase. So you can buy from the first, not trial, but the rerun <laughs> of Sanjo. No, trial days also go too. Oh, really? So they have trial days too. If you Absolutely. guys you know trial days is like the first ever run of Tokenaga musical, they have that one up to the newest one, which is this one. And if you guys are wondering why we all, all we bought all Blu-ray, it's because they look so much better in Blu-ray. And it is like universal, so you can use it on any Blu-ray player ever in the world. Um, if you buy a DVD, it will be region locked. So just to let you know, it is definitely worth the extra buck. I will recommend you to just get Blu-rays if you are a hardcore fan. Um, and also, like, if you guys want the trial days or the rerun of Sanjo, they do have that in English subs, like in a DVD. So if you want to support them international as fans, you can buy the first run of. Team Sanjo with Kashikumisu with English sub subtitles. They have it. It came out last year. So this is what we bought. Oh, we also bought a lot of CDs. Um, they will have all the CDs in that store as well. Oh my god, we have a lot of them. Yeah. But we went kind of ham. Some of these we actually bought at resale shops too, just to let you guys know. Uh, so we have Be In Sight, Kukitsu Maru, Shinchan, Kanesan. This is um, the first run of Sanjo, bought it at a resale shop. And then we have Haruki. We actually have two of those. Yeah, two of those. <laughs> I think each one of us has one. Yeah. So you can also buy these. Support the boys, please. Please support them. <coughs> um, oh, pamphlets. Pamphlets. Um, this is just the latest one, but they do have all the pamphlets from all the shows. And then just your basic brochure. Oh my god, we're gonna have to retake that. The dogs are barking. Go. So they do sell all the pamphlets as well. As well, this is just the newest one with Bakuten. Not Bakuten, Bakuten. <laughs> They've got, of course, just the oh, overview, yeah, all so the good. characters. I mean, they also have little interviews as well. Just a forward, individual shots. It looks so good. Oh my god. Maybe kind of skip. Sorry, sorry, we're skipping. They have interviews with each of the actors as well on their thoughts on the role, the current story. 
they love their voice so much. So if you guys can read it or get a friend that can translate for you, it's so worth the time and effort. And also, and also the best boys. They are so underappreciated for everything they do. So they have they have the rest of the cast as well. Mm, she's in Gumi. Ooh, he's in Ooh. Gumi. And then they and also have like the back of the dancers. ensemble as yeah. well, the dancers. And the dancers also love their work as well. It's they are cool. just to let you guys know, like Token Rambu, they have assembled our very famous a very famous dance group so these guys are like the top notch dancers that you will get on stage it's a big deal so these guys right. are really really hard workers it They're tells great. you what they've been in before whether it be cut and shiny some of them have been for very very popular groups this one also models for gucci damn damn he cute though and there's a lot of boys they are they do the brunt of the work they are the best boys but Everyone. Every have every one of the pamphlets available as well. <clears throat> and if you really want to gamble, <laughs> try the gachas. And get kind of sun with every poll. <laughs> yes. But they have also offer little flyer folders as well. Which some of them we did buy at resale shops. Mm. Yeah, there was a kind of sound somewhere. Yeah, he looks real good. I think he followed the floor, actually, so. Uh, you could probably trade people, oh. others, other you diners. Have, like, and stuff too, so. You can also trade as well while you're there the, the files, the okay. pins, the balloons. There's always someone there willing to trade something. So just ask. Paper. And then last but not least for cafe, they have scrunchies as well. They are limited stock, double check. But you can also find them at resale shops as well. These are the, this is the first run, right? Yeah. Yep. First run for mm -hmm. Bacca Dam. I keep calling them Bacca Dam. And then there's the newest ones. I don't know where Yams went. Oh, he's right here. But they're, they're cute. So they're so cute. cute. So Nagasone Kotatsu was actually sold out in every single place that we went. Wasn't he? No. These two scrunchies were available everywhere. Oh, really? It was just oh, right. It was these two. Everyone else we found either at Resale. Resale or know. the 2.5D shop. I know um, Izuna Mikami was sold, sold out. out everywhere. So we found him at a resale shop. Um, and I think a lot of the resale shops actually has the scrunchies, if anybody is wondering. We also bought a teacup. Well, they bought a teacup. They caved in and they bought one. It's really cute. She's shaking her head right now. She loves it. That's it for the cafe. Yay! Okay, so let's do choice sound. <laughs> choice sound. Choice sound was. Tell me when you're recording choice sound. Mm. In case nobody knows what it is. Oh. It's roasted cheese. It's so good. This is pretty good. This is actually, I like this one in the drinking mm. one. You can actually taste that, that roasted. It's like, you know how there's like the dark chocolate, mm -hmm. in the milk chocolate, this is like the dark chocolate version of like the, the dark chocolate equivalent of the mm -hmm. region matcha. Mm -hmm. It has like a richer taste. Mm -hmm. And the flavors are pretty much sold everywhere. Family Mart, convenience mm -hmm. stores, grocery stores, mm -hmm. donkey, the airport. There is also a Kit Kat store. I believe it's in that camera. I don't remember. Uh, where you can um, buy the specific flavors of Kit Kat, or there's also a build your own Kit Kat place as well, where you can design your own Kit Kat. Um, for more information, just look that up online, I don't know off the top of my head.
All right. So, joy sound. Okay. So, to start off, joy sound is a karaoke place. Um, once, I think they actually do a lot of collaborations with 2.5. So, if you're ever in Japan, just make sure you're checking um, which group they're doing it with. I know they did. Did they do Sanjo? Mm -hmm. No, last year was also. Oh, it was. It was. It was. Huh? Well. It was the other one. Um, so. <laughs> We went to Joy Sound. The first time we went to Joy Sound was in Osaka, and we we, we were drunk. We were, we were drunk, and we saw Joy Sound, and we were like, "Oh, Joy Sound!" And we <laughs> I stopped in the middle of my sentence, and I ran straight to Joy Sound, and we had asked if they had the room for um, the collaboration with Token Rebel Musical, but they said that you only you have to reserve it beforehand, and it makes sense because. I would imagine it's really booked up because I know when we had asked our friend who lives in Japan to book it for us and she said that the only time we were able to get as soon as possible was at 11 a.m. So we got up, supposed to get up at 8 but we got up a little bit later and then we made our way to the karaoke place. We have two hours so make sure when you call and you book, you book how many hours. Tell them how many hours you want to be in that room. Two hours next. Two hours next. Um, because it is a collaboration room. Um, and there's only one in each floor. Yeah, there's only one in each joy sound, <coughs> and sometimes the joy sound doesn't even have the collaboration room. So make sure you double check whatever joy sound you're planning to go to if they have it. So, um, let's let everybody know they have all of the Token Rebel songs in the karaoke machine. It was a blast. <laughs> so, um, we were singing all of the Token Rama songs, and they also had a menu for drinks. We would insert a picture, because we took a picture of the menu. Um, it tastes really, really, really good. Also, if anybody is interested, you can actually download the Joy Sound app on your Switch. Oh. So you can sing Token Rambu. On your Switch? <laughs> on your Switch. Hey. On your Switch. Um, Ensemble <laughs> Stars. Basically anything Joy Sound. But it, you have to have a Japanese account to download oh. it. Okay. Because, I, I mean, like I said, like, Joy Sound has a lot of collaboration, not just with Toy by Five, if you are in, per se, like, I mean, I'm sure you're here, you like anime, but if you're in the anime fandom and you're into seiyus, they also have collaborations with a lot of seiyus in there. I know they had one with Mamoru Miyano, like, recently, and the one we went to, Mamoru Miyano actually visited, and they have his photograph, not his photograph, but his signature on the wall. Um, so, like, depending on which one you go to, what time of year, there might be a collaboration you are interested in. But we went specifically just for Tokidambu. So, um, after, well, yeah, we did, we pulled, we pulled, we pulled, yeah, we pulled coasters. But every single drink you buy, um, the worker would come by, she would have a bag. And we would just pull whatever coasters inside the bag. And as you can see, we have three Toripions, um, Nasusada. And I really wanted Kanasan, but I kind of assumed that we were on the last leg of the karaoke, so I think all they had was the final members or like whatever's left. So we pulled three Asasadas. We might have the worst luck or the best luck, or maybe we were just the last leg of the race. So Shijan, Shijan is so cute. But these are all Sayuri's because she loves Torikyon. <laughs> Um, they're really nice, actually. They're like cardboard. Yeah, they're nice and thick. So they're super thick, and it's not going to be like the cafe ones. Or the hakuoki ones. Or the hakuoki ones. Yeah. In the actual they're really not going to thin... be like paper. These are super they're thick. Laminated. Yeah, they're laminated too, so you probably won't be able to bend these boys unless you try. <laughs> Which I would recommend trying. I don't, don't recommend doing it in case you are stronger. <laughs> yeah, because anything. they come with every drink you buy. And a gamble. And then, oh, and as you leave, yeah. they give you postcards. There's two different versions. You don't get to pick. They you will just hand pick. it to you. It's random. But of course, there's one for each person. Mm -hmm. You're super cute. You're so cute. My heart. I love them. All right. So now we're done with Twitch Man. Okay. I'm recording. I love my other lightsaber. Like, this is the only one that actually matters. This is the only one that people actually went and bought. I hate this lightsaber so much. Okay, let's cut that. Make that a blooper. <laughs>
So this is gonna be the bulk of our video. <laughs> the bulk biggest of thing video. that we were there for. Shinka and Nabusai, we went to the <laughs> Osaka show at Osaka Joe Hall. Oh, it was so great. It, it was, was great. It was we so can't spoil good. anything. We won't spoil anything. It, it was so worth the time and the effort the whole year to be there. So I want let everybody know right now it was not cheap at all for this to happen. When people say that we're lucky, I guess in a sense we are because we were there, but for an entire year, we just we didn't see anybody, we didn't go anywhere, we just worked and worked and worked, and this is the outcome of what we got. So Plus we got premium tickets. Dis disclaimer, and also um, Sayuri and um, Chris Christina are both premium fans, so we had the first pick of what we wanted, and also if we didn't have, if it, we didn't want to have the first pick, we bought resale tickets. So, alright, disclaimer over, this is the majority of what is here, except for what we have showed you from the cafe, and Joy Sound, and resale shops is from the show. And I'm gonna say this to you now, if you are planning ever to go see the boys at Shikinuram Busai, their stuff sells out really, really, really fast. You get there super early. You can't line up for merch until I think like an hour before, an hour or two before like they open the doors. They will tell you what time frame you can line up. Because I know we were there like an hour early, but by the time we were already there, Higekiri, Hizamaru, uh, Nagasane Nagasane Kutetsu. Um, what else? I think like half of the members are already sold out. Half of the whole cast. Imonotsurugi was sold so, out. Iwotoshi, Iwotoshi was sold, sold out. out. Um, I think at one point, Izumi Mikami sold out. I know they had a lot left of Mikazuki Munichika just because he's the main man. So they would have way more of his in Kogi Tsunamaru, but eventually they did also sell out. Um, and, and the outside of the venue, there will be a place where you do gacha, and the gacha to get like these pins, there will be a place where you buy stuff. So, make sure you get in the right line. Um, the gacha will always be like three times longer than the merch line because people are getting a line and buying a sh crap ton of these pins to, to trade and sell. So, um, like I said, get there early. Um, the outside venue will be a merchandise area, not just for the people attending that day, it will be for fans all over that want to come just to buy merchandise. The reason why it sells out so fast because fans that aren't even attending the concert are able to buy from those stands. Um, so, I mean, like I said, make sure you get there early. Because you will be fighting with fans, international fans from China, from America, from their homeland, Japan, they will all be fighting for these merchandise. No joke. It's pretty intense. Um, and then if you are there for the concert, they do have a smaller area inside the venue where you can buy towels, um, mainly just the towels. And um, that, when we got in there, it, it was also sold out. So, so like, I think the only ones that were sold out was probably uh, Kogitsurumaru, um, Munichika, and um, Horikawa. Like the, the ones that they had a bulk, a lot of. They were still there, but characters like I, uh, and like we said, like Yasusada, um, I think even at one point, Muchan, Muchan sold out too. So, yeah. like, even the newest members, um, I know, the, um, yeah, all out. of them sold out, and even the next day, like, I remember us checking on Twitter, the moment they opened the sales area, Hizamaru and Higekiri sold out. So reiterating if you really want these towels and also they did not sell these towels at the cafe and if we went there at the cafe they were all sold out like every single cafe we went to every single resale shop too like none was there so make sure if you really want these towels and you don't want to bid for dollars and dollars upon dollars on yahoo auctions get there early and if you don't, fight for them 
If yeah. you don't mind getting it later, they will go up on the web shop as well. But they probably will be but. triple the price. Then no, oh, it's the same price for the web oh, okay. store. It's just you won't get it oh, the I day mean, oh. of the show or if you want it mm. before a certain time and they sell out, you can get it later. It's a little sad, but yeah, because you'll still like, get it. Yeah, because at the show, um, if you guys have watched like any of the previous shows, like 2016, 2017, um, they were saying songs where they are interactive with the fans. And for example, um, back then, they always sang Key Man. So they will always tell you to like whip your towels out and whip it in the air. And they will teach you how to whip it in the air the correct way. So it's always fun to have a towel because once they sing that song, like you can be interactive with the members. Um, I mean, like if you can't get the towel from this year, you can also get the 2017 ones. They work just as fine, but I mean fans so of course we want to get the ones from this year luckily my characters my favorite characters um were the popular ones so they had a bulk of but sayuri couldn't even get nagasana and Kukatsu this year we, we we hit every single store and it was all sold out so don't be like don't be like sayuri <laughs> she was crying because she she was so disappointed um so besides the towels Oh, the bag, yeah, so, at the, they're selling the bag at the venue, I think you can also buy this online and at the store, but it's just a very basic bag, um, Pokerambu Musical, she can this like 2018, and it has the, it has this, the like, bow with the logo on there, you can tie it, you can leave it untied, um, whatever works for you, um, this year the theme was Matsuri, so that's why they have the firecrackers and stuff on there. Um, but every single thing will have firecrackers, like, wanna talk about your balloons, girl? The balloons, they look like, um, the water, the water yo-yos you would get at the Matsuri. You can blow them up, they got a little thingy on the back. I'm not blowing them again. <laughs> but like we said, they had every single member, I think, towards the very end they were sold out too. Because I know when we went back the second round after the show, because they opened the beginning and at the very end, they were all sold out. So, if you want them, make sure you buy them. They're great. They look beautiful on a Christmas tree. Um, pins. Pins. Minus this one. This one is not from this year, right? No. no. These are these ones. <laughs> oh, snap. Alright, so, pins. Neither is this one. Pins. Um... That, neither, neither are the acrylics. Yeah, neither are the acrylics. The acrylics are from last year. We hold them from the resale stores. But last year, you were able to buy to buy these. If you go to the Tokerambu store and Animate, um, they will sell these. Or the if you go to like a 2.5 store, like the Ultimate one, they will still have these. Or online, or resale, like Yahoo Auctions, they will be selling these. But, not even this one. <laughs> <laughs> These are all from Shikin Arambusai 2018. We weren't crazy like the majority of the girls there, so we did not- Oh my gosh, we have a lot, I lied. I think some of these we actually got at the cafe, so... Party! That's it. Alright, so these are all the pins that you would get. You would get either their um, normal battle form, or you would get their idol outfit. And I was actually, I really like their idol outfits, so I really wanted their idol outfits. So half of these belongs to my friends, half of this belongs to somebody else. Um, but there will be a really, really long line for these pins. Be warned, they will take you probably 15 minutes in that line, in that cold, to get them. They are $5 USD, I guess. $5, 500 yen for each gacha, or like about five, four dollars depending on USD. Um, so be warned, they are $5 per gacha, per one pin. They are pretty pricey. Um, but at the end of the day, they're really worth it. And also, if you get a character you don't like, depending on which character you have, like the popular characters, like for example, um, Hizamaru and Higikiri, they were the golden boys. They are the golden boys. So you can... Basically, trade these boys for anybody that you ever want, ever. Um, but I, <coughs> I think half of these we actually traded off with people or tried to. Um, so there they will be a big area where fans are just trading pins from last year, this year, whatever they could haul. 
um, a lot of fans actually just do the gotcha so they can trade their gotchas to get the ones they want, because a lot of them have eBay bags. So, everybody know this is the pins, these are our pain, these are our sins, our suffering. Stickers. A real pin. <laughs> <laughs> so, stickers. We have a story. As you can see, we have a lot of Kogis. <laughs> If you want your boy, which my friend Christina, the one behind the camera, loves Koki Tsunemaru, you will probably, depending on which character you get, like for example, she traded Kanesada Izumikami, and she traded um, I got all Higikiris. She got all Higikiris. Like, she, one gacha, you can get four? Five. Five. five at a time. You get five at a time per each gacha. She got all Higikiris, and she walked around and she was like, Cookie, 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 and the girls were walking by and they were like, she has four. <laughs> Let me just tell you guys, like, they, the Genji brothers are very hard to get. Like, in all gachos, they are hard to get, and if you get them, you can get basically any boy you want to trade for. I love cookie. <laughs> I traded, um, I traded uh, Hikikiri for a Kanesan pin, and she was like, so she was like, right away she saw it, and she was like, I want that. I was like, take him, I want my man. <laughs> so, these, and if you want to trade them, you basically just go in the trading area, everybody will be trying to trade what they don't want. So my friend traded all for Kuki Tsunamaru, and she just walked around like this, and even if you're English, Japanese, Chinese, wherever part of the world you're from, Ask anybody to trade with you. They are very nice. Be very courteous. Somebody would be looking for someone. Depending on which member that you have that are more popular or less popular. If you like the least popular characters, I don't want to name them. Um, you will most likely, anybody will probably trade with you for anybody else. Um, I just couldn't get anybody that I wanted this year. Because <laughs> I like the, the main boys. So. Kukitsunamaru. They have these boys too, they're so cute. We might be selling some of these too, just to let you guys know, but they're so cute. Alright, we have to show the golden boy, because this is what everybody wanted this year. This is what I traded for. This is what she traded for Kogi. I traded one too. so cute. Oh, for, did you? I traded for Nagasone. And she was just like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, give me, give me my bearded man. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Hizomaru and Higikiri sell for a high price. They are the golden boys right now. They are the Ryuji of this year, the Kashukimitsu of this year, so they will be going for a lot. As you can see, they all got what they wanted, and I didn't. That's why I didn't take all my stickers. I have single. I have single Muramasa, and I have Akane-san, because thanks Chris, she gave me one, because I like was crying because I really wanted one. Um... These are our boys. I thought you got. <laughs> I got Haruki too. Yeah. I have Haruki too. But, yes. Oh, also on this side, right here, Bromades pictures. You can buy. Not you. Picture sets. They're, um, so this year they were selling, depending on. Which set you got? Let me try to grab my poster. Although I don't know where it went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right here. Merch list. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's the merch list. What is this one? Alright, so depending on what you, what set, so there was the idol set, and there was the, um, like, normal Shikunanbisai poster set. So I bought the idol set, so, um, they are $52, or I guess USD, I guess, like, if you were to exchange to USD, about $52 or less than that for a set, and you would get the photo card set, and then you would get whatever poster you buy it from. It's not like last year where you just there was just one poster and you bought them and you got everything. Um, so here's this. It's 
super cute. I love them. And then, besides that, they have postcards that we didn't get. Oh, I did. Oh, did you? Oh, wow! <coughs> I bought everything. We're not gonna open this because this belongs to a friend. So, um, they have postcards and it's, um, I don't know if anybody bought the Blu-ray disc for Chicken Remember Side 2017, but these are basically, like, the same thing. Not, like, the same pictures, but, like, postcard sets with pictures of the boys. Um, they come in a really cute envelope. Super cute. And then we have bromides pictures, right? Let me show off. Yeah, you can pull everything in the box. What? Howdy. Okay. But a happy. They will differ from whatever you're looking at, whatever you're buying. So these ones will be different. They are separate car uh, photo cards you can buy that are like single members that or separate from the photo card set that you buy with the poster. So for example, we have something like this, and then like for the normal postcards, we would have like just your normal idol outfit and this with the background, but this is separate pictures. They also have other merch that is just special for the theme. This is a happy. The backside has the musical emblem, the fireworks with the each colors for all of the boys. We've seen people on Twitter actually like customizing them. Customize it themselves. It. Like they sold on their names or like the favorite characters' names. They would add to the embroidery. Ends, embroidery. Yeah. Emblem. Patches. Pink and it's really side. soft. It's actually really soft. It's better material than I thought it was yeah. gonna be. Also the boys have these too. So if you want to be matching with your boy boy. With your boy, you can buy one. I didn't buy one because I just didn't find the use of wearing one. The fans and the and then they also had, because following the summer theme, they had fancy. Ooh, that's so pretty. It comes with its own sleeve as well, and a little charm you can add to the bottom with the emblem for the musical. So you open it, it has all the colors. Oh, that's crisp. Ooh. It's very simple. It's so beautiful. Like, I love the really simple design they have this year. Just like a mix of paint swatches. It's so pretty. Well, you can use it again in the summer. It's gorgeous. Perfect. Or not use it at all because it's or so pretty. Or not use it at all. Wait, what else do we have? I think that's about the majority of the bulk that we got. Besides the pamphlet. Oh, okay. Which I do somewhere. Sorry. Oh. oh. Here it is. Here's a pamphlet. I'm not gonna open it because it belongs to a friend. Oh, is yours? Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna open it then. <laughs> oh shit, I ripped the packaging. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's mine, it's okay. Ooh. It's so pretty. Oh, they have a cut line to own. It's not, it's just stitched. Ooh, it's stitched. That's how you know it's like very nicely made. It's actually stitched into a book. The pamphlet, and then they have. Ooh, ooh. They have the members. Whoa, well, Kogito and Buddy looks so good. Wow. Sanjo. Kumonotsurugi. And they have all the members from this year. I'm not gonna flip through all of it. Hariki! And then they have the backup dancers too. So it's very nice. Very cute. Good. Last but not least. See ya! <laughs> White sticks! Wow, I think they do sell all, all the previous light sticks minus. Except Bakuten. Bakuten, some of them were sold and Sanjo. out. Sanjo, Sanjo one. Sanjo one. Some of them were sold out, but they did have the latest ones from mm. Suamuno and Suhaji. With Suhaji. Mihotose. Sashi Mihotose. I don't know. I don't think any of us brought Mihotose. Mm -mm. Mm, no. no. Sadly. <laughs> but this is this year. I really don't like this light stick, by the way. I think it's just like too bulky. Like, I feel like compared to these light sticks, the light just isn't distributed enough. So I don't really like the way like the light is distributed. I actually bought this just so I can switch it up with my Mario light stick because I just didn't have like one of the newer Tokunaru musical. And I have the one from last year that fits, but I didn't really want to like take out the thing. But you know what this is good for? 
What up, y'all? Goomba wa. <laughs> You're gross. You but it's a good flashlight. If you ever are lost in a dark somewhere, it's a good flashlight. Which is a pity because you can see how bright it is. It's just inside the case. You can barely the, see the light distribution. The lantern inside has a hole so the light just gets yeah. sucked in Yeah, there. it gets sucked in there, but it's like the top, it's just token on the musical. I guess like, I can see the planning they put into it. Like they thought about it, but just... If you look in the live show, the people that have these light sticks, it wasn't very bright either during the show. Compared to like the light stick ones that they made previously. But that's what... That's what these are for! So, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I think that's it. Everything that we... <laughs> and then there's the resale stuff. By the way, we have a story for these. So, this new light stick has 17... 17 because mine is 19. 19. No, not 19 because Yuji wasn't present. So, Kashikimitsu wasn't there. So, there's no red. Yeah, there's no red because it's Kashi's color. And red is also Ukurikara's color. Mm. So they didn't have red. 17. So 17 colors. Hey, 17. 17. 17. 17 colors. So <laughs> when we were at the show, you can imagine, depending on who's your favorite character, how hard it was for everybody to be like, which one? <laughs> with, with multiple sticks. Yeah, with multiple sticks. Also, like, this one has like three types of pinks, three types of purples, three types of blues, three types, three of, types of yellow, yellow, and then two types of green, green. orange, orange, two types of orange, two types, two types of, green. of green for Tsubasa and um, for Hizamaru. So it's like, especially if since this year was kind of like scrambled people on stage, like you think one person would be on stage and you'd be like, oh my gosh, it's my man, he's on stage, and then like another member would come on, you'd be like, oh 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 snap, oh snap. Uh, which one? Um, close enough! Close enough! It's not even the color you want. It's not even! That's the color you it's, hate. Yeah, it's like, it's like, close enough. This is blue, you know, so. That's why we kind of bought, like, the separate light sticks, because there's the only, like, six, six, six lights colors. in each one. But I was the only one that bought this. But I thought, might as well buy the one from this year if I just needed to change it out for Mario, so. It worked out at the end. I'm still, I'm still kind of mad that I have to buy it, but it worked out <laughs> in the end. Oh, they also come with like a little lanyard kind of thing. One on there, it's really pretty. There's like the paint swatches on this side, which is kind of the theme of this year. And then they have, if I can flip it, flip it enough. They have the emblems of the members on the inside, which is really cute. Alright, that is the end of this haul. No? It's not. <coughs> Resale DVD. I okay. forgot. You got your Mario. For Ogotown. Your Mario. Um, I'm pretty. You bought Dynamic Cord CD. Masude Nagata. Thirty dollar book. <laughs> it's pure sin. Okay, I think we should stop it here because everyone's gonna see how much we spent. <laughs> they already know how much we spent. I know. Alright. I love all good parts. You know, I'm missing um, Arisawa's DVD. Where is it? I have no idea. Can you buy it? Cow! Cow! <laughs> and how you have to wait at the hospital to use oh the DVD God. player? Oh I don't want to talk about that. It's somewhere. <clears throat> These are, these are what we found, so if you guys ever need to buy anything with your favorite member or your favorite actor, favorite 2.5 actor, they would always have it at the resale store. So Huh? Can you move? Can you Two dollars. Two dollars. Um, Two dollars. Nashimbang is the recommended store. They carry a little bit of everything, but some locations will be specific to just certain things. Uh, we went to Akihabara and unfortunately they, they didn't really have a 2.5D section. 
um, Osaka did or Kyoto will. Really cheap. Yeah, if you're in like if you're in like each region, just make sure you double check too, because like every region does resell stuff differently, or like they might be carrying different. because it's a different region than Tokyo. Tokyo is like really competitive. Like for example, we did find pins, like token rabu pins of the members. I'm not gonna say which member because it kind of hurts my soul for going almost like a dollar, fifty cents, or fifty cents actually, fifty cents. We were kind of mad. I'm oh, hella mad. <laughs> but um, depending on- I mean, it was kind of a win for us because we wanted to hoard them, but um, make sure you're checking which, whichever region you're in, like if you find a resale mm -hmm. shop, because I know for Tokyo they might be going for a little bit more pricier because it is a more competitive area. Um, we bought the majority of these in Kyoto. Uh, I do want to mention, if you have to buy a suitcase, Kyoto and Tokyo are the most expensive places to buy an extra suitcase. Mm -hmm. I had to buy one. Harichan. This is our suitcase named Harichan. He was, that was eighty dollars in Kyoto. It was thirty in Osaka. Mm -hmm. So plan wisely. Plan very wisely. So that's kind of retail shops. Everything that we hold. I'm just gonna leave you guys with this image. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> oh. oh. I really regret not getting how to dance. Thanks for watching us um, talk about things that we probably shouldn't have spent so much money on for 20 minutes. Yeah, our how to town was filled with about. Roughly almost thousand dollars worth of goods. No joke. Thousand dollars. That was our life in an eighty dollar suitcase. Goodbye. Money. Bye, money. We'll see you for next year's chicken number five. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of contemplating my life right now, but you know what? I'm I'm really happy. So. And then a lot of these things. Just letting you know. We might be selling some of the stuff if we realize we don't really need them, so keep an eye out, I guess. If anybody wants a Toritheon coaster, let us know. I don't know if I can tell him. <laughs> it breaks my heart that oh, I would sell him. I lied. Oh, we never talked about Muchi Chicas! It's fine. Did How he got abused at TSA? He got, he got abused. He got pat down. In TSA. Opened, opened up and searched. They thought he was carrying something. He was just carrying the weight of our sins. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thanks guys. Bye. Till next year. <laughs> Maybe next oh. We can do all of our We don't need stuff. the ending to be this long. In case anybody, I'm sure a lot of you are very curious? Curious as to how we got our tickets. But this is our ticket. This is the chicken and um, the ticket. We have one for this year and last year. Um sure everybody has a lot of questions on as to how we were able to get our tickets. It's a very long process. It's um almost the same as getting the cafe tickets, but there are several more options as to how you could get it. So um the first option one is if you are a premium member, um, you are able to buy the tickets before anybody else. So premium, premium member is if you guys follow the Token Rebel Musical website, you pay a monthly fee to be part of the fan club, alright? And the fan club will get, you know, you will be able to see special pictures, um, special videos, special messages. You will have first come first serve for tickets to any show. But it is lottery. Yeah, it is lottery. So just like so you guys know, like even if you guys do get in it, you do have to pay to get in the lottery. That's kind of for anything ever. It will be for cafe, um, even for CU events, voice actor events, events in general, like hypnosis mic events. They are all through lottery. So you will have to pay to get into the lottery, and it still won't be guaranteed if you will get a ticket. So depending on how you want to do it, that's how you can do it. And then you have. 72 hours to 
pay at the convenience. If you do get into the lottery, you do get a ticket. You have 72 hours to go into the convenience and get your ticket. Um, I think Premium Fans has sits on the bottom floor. So depending on if you do get the ticket, you will be sitting the very front seats next to the stage. That's where we sat. Um, because again, we are premium fans, although we bought it a separate way, which I will elaborate towards the very end. Um, the second option is if you are part of the Japanese website, you don't have to be a member, you can just buy it through normal sale. Or enter the lottery or, from the CD. Or enter the lottery. Alright, so you can also, if you buy the CD, that's, that's what we showed, so like, I don't think we have any here. But okay, so for example, these are... These are the CDs. Um, depending on which time of year you're buying a CD, they will have an ID code when you buy it, and it will you can scan it and it will allow you to enter the lottery. That's why when a lot of people buy the CDs, they hoard a bunch of them so they can just enter the lottery multiple times. And every CD you buy is a lottery ticket to get inside the lottery. So you can also do that, or you can just enter the normal sale, but like I said, it will also be lottery so if you are lucky you will get a seat anywhere in the venue because you're not a premium member only premium member premium members sit on the floor seats next to the stage but there i mean depending on which venue you are at you can sit anywhere from the second floor or third floor sometimes i think when we were in osaka they were even like in the gated ways of the pathways to go outside of the venue those are the cheapest seats you can get but i mean you're still there, right? So, can get those. The third option international. is international fans. So, if you are an international fan, <coughs> since they know that we do have an international market, they will have specific places set aside just for international fan tickets. You can buy off the Token Rambo Musical site. And if you buy through there, you will get those seats. But let me just say now, they will not be the best seats in the house. But they're decent. They are decent, but they won't be the best seats. <laughs> For example, when we went to Haikyuu Ingeki, we bought through the international market, but we were at the very back of the venue. However, we saw the stage very, very clearly, very well. We didn't. We weren't mad at the seats that we got. Um, it was a very good view, but. It depends on what type of fan you are, what you want to see, what you don't mind. Because for us, we want to be closest to the stage as possible to see our boys up close. Um, and we are the type of fans that we would drop however money, however much we can in order to sit that close to the stage and to have that experience. So it depends on you, how much you want to spend, how much you're willing to drop, how far you're willing to go to be there. The fourth and final option is resale, which we has, have done two years in a row now. Last year, we did a resale shop, and if anybody wants to know, we will be open for questions, but you can send us an email, or you can like comment below, and we'll tell you, we'll give you like links, or like you can message us, and we'll tell you where to buy stuff, and where not to, because last year we had a horrible experience with a with um, one of the places in the U.S. that actually helped us get tickets. Um, but there are like um, options in Japan that will pick up your tickets for you and send it to you or to a friend in Japan that lives here. Um, so that was what we did, but for a fact, they will be two or three times more than buying the ticket itself. How much was this ticket? 800 yen. About $80. But that's regular pricing. This is yeah, regular that's regular pricing. pricing. But we paid... We paid... 300 maybe. 200 A little under three. A little under 300 for resale tickets. Because we wanted to make sure we had premium seats the closest to the stage as we could possibly get. And just to let you guys know, like, you don't know what seat you have until three weeks before the concert. Until they send you the tickets, you don't know where you're going to sit. So it's still kind of a gamble, regardless of whether you're buying the first option, premium lottery, um, to sit on the bottom floor, or if you're buying resale, you still don't know where the heck you're going to sit until you get your tickets. So nobody knows. 
it is a gamble. This whole thing right here, it will depend on how much you love Pokemon Musical, how much you want to participate in this fandom, and how, much, how far you're willing to go. Like I said, we were willing to gamble everything to make sure we have good seats, and twice in a row for two years we've gotten wonderful seats. Not ma not like front row, like the first seat next to the stage, but oh, really? close enough so that we can make eye contact with the boys if they look over or they can see us waving our light sticks. Close enough so they can see us or we can see them with their like airbrushed makeup and everything, but it depends on you. So if you want to be like us and drop a lot of money, go ahead. If you want to go the lottery route, go ahead. I know friends that went through the lottery route and got tickets, but they went through the normal sale route. And they flew in from Singapore. So, it really depends. So just be warned. Do be careful of resale tickets as well, where you're buying them from. Just double check, make sure it's actual, not authentic ticket, but make sure the seller has a good reputation. Mm -hmm. You don't want someone that says like, zero good you know, mm -hmm. reviews or yeah, zero yeah, reviews yeah, yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. They never sold anything. And honestly, it's what came extra for the insurance. insurance. Yeah, and also, like, <coughs> you, besides the fact that you're paying almost 300 for a ticket, be proud of it, but we're not. Just let you guys know, it hurt us so much, but so worth the experience two times in a row. Be very careful where you buy from, very mindful. I mean, like, there are crappy people out there that will just try to take your money. Um, crappy people out there that will not answer back to your messages at all. Um, oh, I forgot where I was going with this, but... Just be careful. Yeah, just be very careful. And, oh, you will be paying for a service fee. On top of the ticket, you will be paying for a certain amount of percentage towards the person who's getting this for you. So, I mean, like, I feel like regardless of if... It's concerts. I know like BTS fans are the same thing. Um, besides us, like Tsuki Uta, Ingeki Haikyuu, like no matter which show you're going to, which concert, K-pop, CME events, concerts, it will be, you will be paid for a service fee. So just to let you know beforehand, ready your wallet for the ticket and for the person that is buying the ticket for you. So that is all. Thank you for listening to our TED Talk. I hope you, I hope Dearly, if you love these boys to the moon and back like we do, and I always just say people like, oh, I don't have money. I work a minimum wage job. So anybody that is watching this, I was struggling to even go and it, for two years and it was so worth I got you. It was so worth every single penny. So it depends on you, but for me, it was worth it. So thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.